Yo, what's going on guys? Camille here. In this video, we'll be going through a quick and simple support Xinyang guide. This guide will be focusing mainly on free-to-play players with of course providing some more gacha options. In this video, we'll be going through her skills, weapons, artifacts and team builds. I think time stats will be there in the video. And without further ado, let's begin. So if you're playing support Xinyan, you have mainly two things to focus on. It's her shield, which is called the sweeping fervor in her talent. It's basically a shield that she puts around like a character that you use when she does her elemental skill. And the more defense you have, the more it gets stronger and absorbs more damage. And you have her elemental burst, which is called the Rift Revolution. She basically deals a lot of pyro damage and it's good for like removing like cryo shields, um, hydro shields, stuff like that. And it's a very good like support option. Also, Xinyan's shield gives like um, the character who's protected by the shield 15% more physical damage. So yeah, I'm not going to be going through all the characters stuff and explaining it. I'm sure a lot of y'all already know that. And without further ado, let's move to the weapons. These are like the main things you need, especially for support. So yeah, let's move to weapons. In weapons, the main two free to play options will be the white blind if you want to focus on her shield and the prototype ammunition if you want to focus on her ult. These are basically like the guaranteed best free to play options. And when I say focus, I don't mean like you're going to be like missing out in the other thing at all. It's like if you want to choose um, the prototype Aminus, you won't get a shield as strong as like if you want if you went with like the white blind. But it's gonna be like fine. You don't like you choose whatever you want. It's gonna be good for like both option. It's just the thing you want to focus on. Now I'm gonna list some more gacha options, of course, in case anyone has one of them. So of course we have the Wolf Greystone. It's for like attack percent. The Unforged is pretty good too. Um, the Skyward Pride Energy Recharge, that's very good too. We have the Sacrificial Great Sword, it's a four star. I think a lot of people have it. It's a very good option too for Energy Recharge. We have the Royal Great Sword. And finally, we have the Favonius Great Sword. I'd recommend it again if you want to focus on her ult. It has like a very high energy recharge and a little bit lower um, base attack. So if you want to be spamming her ult, you can go with the Favonius Great Sword if you have it. And that is it with the weapons now moving for the artifacts i think hands down the best artifact set for like support Xinyan is going to be the Nautilus oblige two piece set you have elemental burst damage increased by 20 percent which we need four piece set you have using an elemental burst increases all party members attack by 20 percent for 12 seconds this effect cannot be stacked but like it's basically each time you do Xinyan's ult all your like your party members get a 20 percent attack bonus which is very good for like your main damage dealer so yeah this is probably the best option to go for the Noblus Oblige. Talking about the stats and artifacts of course you'd want to go like attack percentage, crit rate, crit damage, energy recharge, defense percentage, maybe pyro damage bonus, of course flat attack, flat defense if you didn't have like um, defense and attack percentage and that's probably it with the stats um, if you have like a good main stat and like two to three good sub stats you should go for the artifacts again as long as it's like a Noblus Oblige and if you don't have it like you definitely can do a four piece set Noblus Oblige which is very very recommended you might go for like a two piece clad two piece Noblus Oblige that will do but basically I'd heavily recommend um, the four Four piece set Noblus Oblige, even like even if you sacrifice a little bit of like substats, even main stats, I think like it's worth it going for like the Noblus Oblige on support Xinyan. Okay, now moving to finally the team builds. This is very, very versatile. So I'm just gonna say, like, in general, what you should be looking for in this team where like support Xinyan is gonna be good on. I'm not gonna be going through like every single hero or every single character you could put on this team i just want to give you like what you need on your team and you choose from your characters what you have and what you have built and you go for it so as i said zinian's shield gives 15 percent more physical damage to the character protected by the shield so basically you'll be doing zinian's elemental skill and then switch into your main damage dealer so to benefit from this you'd want a damage dealer who deals like physical damage for example just for example a razor 
for like free to play players would be very good um maybe a shingling would be good if you have a d look that's of course like very very good so yeah you would basically as your main damage dealer you'd want someone who deals a lot of like physical damage so you could benefit from having zinian's shield on a second thing you need to have in the team is somebody who provides like vaporize or melt um a lot of like characters i could think of but like maybe kaya diona mona child uh, like main thing like a hydro or a cryo character so you could trigger um the elemental reaction for like vaporize or melt a second thing you'd want to do is like um a second pyro character in your team to get like the pyro bonus so it's either like you have bennett as I say like your healer maybe again if you have d look as your main damage dealer you'll be doing like two pyro characters you'll get the bonus so um um, yeah try to get a second pyro unit in your team to get the pyro bonus and to trigger zinian's ult more and more faster so yeah these are like the main things you want to look for in the support zinian's team i left it like very versatile because i know i can't just say like you have to go with razor or you have to go because i know a lot of people don't have characters there's like the main things you want to look for and then you build your team with basically what you have or what you have built because like if you have a level one diona i can't tell you use diona you know like i'm just i just can't i think it's wrong to like do like simple teams out there very little people is gonna like are gonna be benefiting from it especially for like free to play players so um yeah try to look for these things and you'll have a very very good team so yeah that was basically it guys don't forget to leave a like subscribe to the channel for more new videos i might do another um dps zinian build even though i don't really Really recommend it. See y'all in the next video. Peace.